Hey, what's going on my sub Jedi's and welcome back to another video. Now, this is a bit of a different video, I thought, because of how much this video means to me personally, that rather than doing my 3D intro, I'd introduce it to myself. I'll put a timestamp on the screen of when to get straight into the video, but this is what it is for now. So, if you follow me on social media, you would have known about September last year, 2019, I entered a film festival, which was the Focus on Ability Film Festival, and... It was High Hopes, it was the first video I ever, or well, first movie slash short movie, short film I ever directed myself and wrote myself, with obviously some help from my teacher, which I cannot disclose their name, um, but yeah, as you can see, like, the award I'm proudly holding there, I've got my plaque up there, and it was, it means a lot to me about the fact that I won this award. Um, I was supposed to be in America by July this year, but obviously because of the current pandemic that's going around the world, can't name it by names. So, I should probably fill you in on what the Focus on Ability Film Festival is. The Focus on Ability Film Festival is a film festival that you upload your short documentaries or short films which are based around the abilities in disabilities. So you don't necessarily have to have a disability yourself, it can be a family member, it can be someone, but yeah, you upload the your short films or short documentaries and all that to their website, link in the description below, and then you enter a draw, very rare chance, like not, sorry, I shouldn't say rare chance, but depending on how good your video is, you get awards. Like I was lucky enough to win Best Actor, which was supposed to send me to LA this year, but because of the current, as I said, current pandemic, it got halted until next year. Hopefully I can go. Now you may be wondering, Rich, why did you upload to the Focus on Ability Film Festival? Well, not a lot of people know this, but I suffer from Asperger's. I was diagnosed with it from a young age, and it's hard for me to make friends or talk to people new, and I have a hard time controlling my anger, which I've managed to master over the years, shall I say. I can control my anger a little bit better now, but yeah, and... It, it's hard, I admit it, it's hard. The only way I deal with my issues is by watching Star Wars or dealing with making videos, streaming, things that I love, like sci-fi related and things like that. In gaming and things like that, I consulted to sit there and get away from the harsh reality. Um, obviously to this day I still struggle to make friends, it's kind of the problem with having Asperger's, but I'm getting there. Um, but yeah, enough about me. The I highly suggest you check out the festival. Like, it's a life. It was a life change for me. I hopefully next year, around about the same time in July ish, if like restrictions lower down, I'll actually be able to go to LA, fulfill my dream, do some acting, like be part of the acting class, and hopefully become an actor. Um, Although I am kind of technically already an actor because of YouTube, but like get into Hollywood is basically what I, is what I should say. But yes, I highly suggest you check them out. Link will be in the description below. Um, thank you and enjoy the rest of my segment. This is the video. Don't be too harsh. And I'll see you at the end of it. Hope you enjoy. Goodbye. Ooh, ready? Ready? I'm ready. Okay, good. Hello and welcome. My name is Bailey, and I'm finally happy to show you a prototype I've been working on. I'm sure by now you've made a connection, hence the title of this video. Damn it, Cameron, keep this camera straight. I'm sorry. I'm... Yes, you were correct. I've made the first ever real lightsaber. Or as a certain master calls it, a laser sword. Before I start, I'd like to say hit the subscribe button, because it was I, Richbox, who made the first ever real lightsaber. Who cares about your fan? You've got 42 subscribers. I have 49 and they're loyal. Should I also mention I was born on the 4th of May? No, you shouldn't mention that. Why not? Well, who cares? It adds a wow factor because it shows I'm committed because I'm born on Star Wars Day. Oh, so you're like the best fan in the world. Yeah, I'm the director, you're the cameraman. Can we just get on with this, please? Yeah. So here is the lightsaber. So I've got the j battery plugged into the bottom of the saber which will give the lightsaber its power. Then I've got the cables that will possibly change the color of the blade, I'm hoping. 
I've got it pl currently plugged into my coating, which will preset the blade length and the, the heat. Then I've got the processor up here is coated to actually keep it at that length and that heat so it doesn't burn through the roof or doesn't burn through everything. It's just a stun blade at this point. I've got the activation matrix here and then in there, like that's a safety precaution. I'll press that and that will just shut everything down. So, yeah, speaking of safety, I don't know I want to be in here when you do this. I mean, what if you like split an atom and like blow up the bloody shed or something? Like that, that, that's reasonable. What I'll do is if you can set the camera up on a tripod, man, I'll be happy with that and I'll go from there. And I can leave? And you can leave, yes. Time for power test one. Three, two, one. Input equals output. Think, 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 think. I'm done. Got it! Let's hope this thing works. The Javen battery is tripping the load circuit capacity, causing the accumulator to overload. Without a steady current, the anode will not contain the plasma beam, laser sword, hence why test one has resulted in a particle acceleration. So, if my theory is correct, we just need to adjust some wires in the crystal mount, and that should be good. Can you explain that in English, please? Adjust some wires so it doesn't burn through the roof and my eyeballs. I am Darth Wilder. So, I fixed the JRAM battery problem. I welded the crystal mount in and I've added an energy gate up here. The energy gate should, when I power it up, should open and when I need to go down in a fast, close it and shut off the blade. Let's hope this is a success. Safety first. Thank you. So just tell us what's, what, I, what... I feel it vibrating. It's working. Is it? Oh, Hang on. Is it working? It looks like... Yeah, it's working! Yes! We finally got it! Oh, that's so cool. Let me get a close up shot. Please do, do. Whoa, that's so wicked! High five, man! As you can see, that is my, that was my first ever short film. Um, in my eyes, I hate seeing my cringy acting, but it got me places I never thought I'd get, so obviously people enjoyed it. It got just under 500 views on the actual, like, the actual website. As you can see, early on in the video, you can tell how old this, was considering I mentioned that I have 42 like 49 subscribers uh, can't remember the exact amount I believe it, I, he mentioned I had 49 yeah 49 um, you can tell uh, that it's been a while since this video was actually recorded considering now I'm at like what 107 almost 110 which thank you everyone by the way I really appreciate that um, yeah don't know how to I thought I'd just mention that. I don't know how to segue this into the rest of the outro, so...
the actual website of Focus and Ability, they uploaded it onto their own channel on YouTube and it got just shy of 500, which for me, I know a lot of people have been going, but Rich, 500 views is no much. In my eyes, it's a breakthrough because I've only, the highest I've had is about 230 views. So, and I had a whole bunch of good feedback. People were comparing it to different top fi top tier films and it was, it was just a life changer. And I want to thank my now old school for pushing me in the direction of the career I want to have and I want to thank the film festival for giving me this opportunity I never thought you guys would like it I doubt you guys are ever watch this but if you are I never thought you'd enjoy it but here I am hoping to go to LA next year <sighs> big achievement people big achievements now, you don't have to like the video. I'm not telling you to like it. Um, if you hate my short film, hey, that's your decision. You don't have to like it. I just thought I'd share it with my my viewers. Um, let me know what you thought in the comments down below. If you want some tips on how to actually ray trace, how to do the tracing of the lightsaber, let me know. And I could possibly try to make a video on it. Um, but yeah, that's all, folks. Um, yeah, this has been Richbox, and I want to thank all my sub Jedis for coming out and watching this. I really appreciate it. Um, you don't have to, but if you want to smash that like button and hit the subscribe button, that really help a lot, out a lot. Another thing you could do is hit the little bell icon, and that will actually show and notify you. Sorry, not show, notify you when I upload, and... Yeah, although it's not that often, it's still something. Um, link to Twitch and all that will be in the description down below. Go check me out. I'm more active on there. Um, I'm hoping to be getting some virtual reality content out soon. I'm not going to spoil say what it is. I'm just going to give you that. So, thank you everyone for coming on and clicking on this video. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one, my sub Jedi's. Goodbye.